Good day, Golden Sandgroper here. So today with GeoView, what we're going to go through is um, how to zoom in, identify things, and find some more information. Firstly, on the left-hand side, we have our table of contents. We must open our folder, turn our tenements on, click our tenements. Now we are at a statewide level here, not advisable as you can see. It looks like a ball of spaghetti. We hit the zoom in button. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go to Kalgoorlie. It's generally where the gold is, isn't it? So as we wait for this map to to start up, what we're going to do is we're going to identify. So we've got a whole bunch of green and blue tenements. Green tenements are the live ones. So we can see here. We'll go to Coolgardie. We have some lives, and we have some blue ones. They're the pendings. Okay. So let's go. Let's go get some um, more information. So we're going to hit the identify tool. We can also go here to the identify tools in the tab up here. This has a bunch of tools. I'm just going to select the point. Point just means click on one tenement and you find out the information. So I've clicked on this one tenement. The results will always appear here on the left hand side. And to find out more information about this tenement, we click the blue link. So we can see it's tenement live and pending and we have a tenement number. And we can see it's a live tenement. So we click this and it will open up a new page or a box. This box tells us information, tenement ID, what type. So it's an exploration license. It is unsurveyed, it is live, it has a holder. And as we scroll down, start, end, grant dates, formatted ID, that sort of thing. Okay. This is how we can find more information. If you want more information about a tenement, if we click this link, view more information on TenGraph. Okay, so you click that link and it'll go to take you to TenGraph and you can start to browse through there. So I'm just going to close this for a moment. What we can also do up here, on a mine or minerals, mines and mineral deposits, that will also appear. It's good to note that the yellow diamond is occurrences of gold. So that's a bit of an indicator of where gold can be found or has been found in the past, just for your information. Now, if we want to know what these symbols mean, the purple triangle, the green circle, go to the legend bottom left, click that. There we are. Okay, we can scroll down to find out what we have here. Okay, so construction materials, that sort of thing. Yellow diamonds are occurrences of gold. Okay, and if you want to get back to our layer list, we select the show layers button to bring us back. Okay, incidentally, if you do see this grayed out button, it means it can't be zoomed in, it can't be sorry, uh, shown at this scale. If you right click it, it'll say down here visible scale one. 1 is to 1, 2, 1 is to 2,000 2, or 250,000, okay? So you must zoom in to that level before that will turn on. All right, that's it for today. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow.